box breaks are becoming a huge event in the scorecard industry. Are you prepared? Let's talk about it today. Let's go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the compound. This is Jay Ruth Gaming and this is your introduction to box breaks. You probably have heard about box breaks or at least you've heard it in conversations at trade shows or around the community. A lot of people don't know what it is and it's my job today to talk to you about it, get you at least introduced to it. There's many, many, many types of ways to do box breaks. I personally, I run my own box breaks and I participate in box breaks. Probably a little too much. I just have too much fun with it. So I, I, I do a lot, I, I will say. So what I want to do today is literally give you an example. I meet a lot of people in our local community at trade shows, people here on the internet. Everyone's always asking, yeah, I would love to get into box breaks. How, what is it? So this is it, this is the video. We'll talk about a couple ways on how you could get involved, what you should look for, the types that there is out there, give you the best uh, input that we have for it. Let's do that. Nothing I say here is financial advice, just what we do, what I look for, and a little detail of really what it is. So what you see in front of you, I just brought a ton of random boxes, right? Sealed sport card boxes for both the NBA and the NFL. Figured, I don't know, let's just throw a bunch of stuff together and let's go with it. Let's see what happens. So a box break is essentially, you are buying into someone's box break to get either a team or a division, a group, there's many types. Today we're gonna talk about two types that I think everyone should probably stick to. There's a lot of others, don't get me wrong. You can do this for Pokemon. There's a lot of different types of box breaks, okay? So for now, let me just separate NFL, right, and basketball. Just for, we'll just keep it there. You get it, you get the point, okay? So for this conversation, there goes, there goes the retail box. Put it there for now. Get the point, it's there. For this example, there's gonna be two different types. There's gonna be a pick your something or a random something, okay? So a pick your team, pick your group, pick your division is one way to do it. For example, here's a bunch of NBA products, okay? There's Four, you got a fast break hobby box, you got a retail hobby, uh, retail box, excuse me, retail and then retail. So there's four different boxes. Okay. In a pick your team scenario, you would be able to pick one team, five teams, all 30 teams, whatever you want to pick, and you would just have that team or those teams in this box. So instead of paying, boy oh boy, maybe close to a grand, a couple hundred bucks, depending on our watching this video, by the way, also. So this is somewhat all newer stuff. So 2020 is technically the oldest product in this group for this box break, right? If you're watching this in a year, this is gonna be a lot more, probably is gonna be a lot more, right? It just is. Go back to see Luka Doncic's rookie year, over like six, seven grand for a hobby box. I'm sure when it first dropped, it wasn't that, it wasn't that two years ago, technically. So you would be buying in a pick your team scenario, one team, which typically you would have when you get to pick your team, essentially. So if I'm the breaker, hi, I'm Jerry's Gaming, I do breaks, I pick your team, right, is available. All 30 teams, you reach out, go to a website, however the breaker is doing it. Everyone does a little bit differently, so you're gonna have to really kind of do some research on that individual and see how they are going to run their break, how they're running their break currently, whatever it is. And just sort of record everyone. I know some people, like, they get the idea of box breaks, but I have people that come to me that have zero clue on what a box break is. So I'm gonna go from step one to the last step here, okay? Just, I have to. It's my job here to entertain, but to educate as well, right? So in a pick your team scenario, you'd be picking Detroit Pistons, right? So I would get every single Detroit Piston player card from these four boxes. 
right? Why is that good? Let's say if you're a Celtic fan, right? I don't care about any other player. I don't care about the financial gains of trying to get the best rookie. I don't care about any of that. I just want the Celtics. A pick your team box break is awesome because you would just pay a portion of the total cost for just the Celtics. Pretty easy, right? Pick your group. It's kind of the same deal, but for the NBA, you would, uh, the breaker would organize different groups of random teams and you would have to pay for whatever group that you would want to get this. Division, we'll talk about that when we get the NFL. Same deal though. We'll just jump right to it. Same deal. You want the AFC North, okay? You'd be paper, you'd get the Bengals, the Browns, the Ravens, and uh, Steelers, and the Steelers, right? AFC North, you get all those from all of these boxes. If this NFL box break was a div pick your division box break. You got to pick your division. Now, the good and the bad with that, the good is you get to pick what you want. It's not random. You get you, whatever team you're chasing, whatever group, division you're chasing, you get to essentially pick. It's not taken already, right? That's the huge perk. The one bad perk, it gets expensive. It gets really, really expensive that way because there's going to be better divisions in a NFL break. There's going to be better groups if you're doing groups, if you're trying to split up the NBA because 30 teams trying to you know, really division. Well, you can do conferences technically. There's gonna be better conferences groups than the rest of them. There just are. And teams, same deal. Same deal. So like this, for this one, there is what three different years of the NBA. So there is going to be better teams than others. So like for example, I'm not trying to diss on anyone's teams, but the Trailblazers are not gonna be expensive compared to Detroit Pistons, right? Detroit to, um, let's see what else do we have. We have Memphis, Jaws rookie here, right? This is going to be this current one. So the Magics are going to be super expensive, right? So they're going to be, if that's your team, I only want the Magic. Well, it's going to cost a little bit more compared to the Trailblazers. That's the one negative for pick your team, a pick your whatever scenario, right? Now, one thing I do like about it, as a breaker, okay, we do, like I said, we do box breaks. If you want to get in on ours, jruthgaming.com, shameless plug there, jruthgaming.com, where we do our box breaks, we have live events, a lot of fun with it. So, the one good thing is, with a pick your team scenario, you have a lot of spots to fill. As a breaker, if I'm doing just NBA, I have 30 spots to fill. NFL, 32 spots to fill. That's a lot of spots to fill. No matter how large or small you are as a company, as a promoter, whatever you're doing, as a breaker, I should say, it's a lot of spots to fill. So the one good thing, you, right? When I do, when I'm personally participating in breaks, if I'm looking to do a pick your team break, pick your division break, I'll reach out to the breaker and say, hey, can you give me multiple? Give me multiple, can you bulk it down? It's so like, that's an advantage. Don't be afraid to ask. The worst thing someone's gonna say is, no, I'm sorry, I can't do that. That's it. It's so like, go for it. Maybe grab a couple expensive teams and go for the bottom barrel teams, right? That's what I do to try to like bulk everything down, if that makes sense, okay? So remember, pick your whatever, team, group, division, whatever it is. Now listen, I'm trying to be as honest as possible with you guys about it. I do love a pick your team scenario, right? But it has to be the right box break, okay? For this type of break where it's multiple different years, that's great, but not necessarily for a pick your team, in my opinion. If we were to open up, let's just say a full case of optic retail. Let's just say if this was Hobby, the boxes look pretty much the same. Let's say if this was Hobby, this is T-Law's rookie year, right? Mac Jones, Fields, right? All those guys. A pick your team scenario might actually be better than maybe a random whatever, right? Because you get to, you, your odds are be better. So when I am personally looking for a box break, I want to do a box break, whatever it is. This, let's put it this way. This current year's NFL optic, 
I personally have done a lot of first off the line hobby box box breaks where I was looking for the Steelers and the Falcons. So I would go to big and small. Listen, I've done I've done them all. I've done Lincoln Sports, I've done uh, backyard breaks. I've done guys that, uh, my size, smaller, bigger, overtime rips. I've done literally, I, I box break too much. I just, I just have fun with it. I love it. I just love the box break. So I look for when I can do case breaks, cool. I would love to get a pick your team scenario for a case break or a you know a, a case of blasters or a mixture of different of the same year so i can focus on one team one player if that makes sense opposite random team random division random group there's a lot of good with this there's bad also with both i'm just being honest with my one rule I, I made to myself when I came to YouTube was to be honest with you. And that's why I made, built this video. I, there's a couple people that I just know, I think of when I do these type of educational videos. And I'm like, you know what? This person needs a full video of start to finish on what box break is. Right, we have a PSA how to grade sport card tutorial video. I like doing these types of videos. It's not all about this entertaining and putting the voice on and going into character, right? No, it's, I want to educate as well, okay? And hopefully this teaches someone out there what Box Breaks is. Random, this is where it gets cool. Random team, random division, okay? Let's, let's, we'll go with the NFL here, right? 32 teams in the NFL. Let's just say for argument's sake that this Box Break my I don't know, total was like a thousand bucks just for easy easy it's not clearly obviously right for 30 for a thousand dollars right you divide that by 32 right that would be your entry fee right and the best thing about that right is any of the teams let's say doing like a full case of optic blasters whatever it is you have an opportunity think about it you have an opportunity to hit the best team for the average price, right? Which is good, right? That's a good thing. So think about that way, right? There is, there's always gonna be a quarter of the team that is, or the league, I should say, that is really good. There's a bottom quarter that you, like, you really don't want. And then you have the field. Then you have the field where if you get the field in the random team, you're like, okay, all right, I'm happy then, happy. Got the Chiefs, listen, it's not Mahomes rookie year, but you know what, it's, it's Mahomes. You get a case hit, you get a nice parallel. We're in business, we're in business. Get the Steelers, I just got the Steelers for three X less than what I should be getting it for, right? If you get the Browns, sorry Browns fans, you, you, you bought in two X what you should have did, right? So it's very risky at times to do a random team, but boy, when you hit, you hit, you hit big. So like, same thing, random division. There's eight divisions in the NFL. If you're just doing one full product, right? So if you're just doing all optic, be careful. I would probably say do pick your team. Because if you're just doing the one year of a random division, just do the math, do the odds, right? There's eight divisions. There's not, there's probably what, two to three good divisions in a random division break. So what I like to do, when I'm building my own breaks, I like to do multiple years, right? So here is two years. If this was a box break, the NFL, there's there's two years worth. So that increases your chances of getting a good division in a random division, if that makes sense, right? Imagine this one. Imagine if you did a random, it would be group, right? But imagine if you did this one. There's three, four years there of the NBA, right? Three. There's three years here in the NBA. You do a random group like that, just think about the, the teams of three years that you could hit and be like, all right, all right. You know what? I want the random. So when I am doing box breaks, pick your team for, give me a full case of this one product. I want one team. If that makes sense. If I'm doing a random division, random team. Give me the multi-year opportunity. Okay. Now we do... We're, we do a little bit of both, right? Currently, I'm doing multi-sport, which is even going back to the random, even better. Because listen, think about that. I have, there's NFL, NBA in the same break. And it's a random division. So there's eight spots and you can get 
a mixture of teams. The goal as a breaker, in my opinion, is always to help the breakies, if you will, have success in hitting some good cards, right? Once again, nothing is financial advice here, but the goal is always to make sure they're getting something back. Now, for what it's worth, sport cards values go up, they go down all the time. There's nothing anyone can do about that. Your goal when doing a box break, truthfully, is just to have fun. Have fun. I, I mentioned it earlier, I have too much fun doing box breaks as a breaky. You know what I mean? Just as, as joining, going to the, the, the big boys, literally going to backyard breaks, right? Going to those boys, breaking with them, going to the guys that only have 20 viewers in their live chat, right? Breaking with those guys, having more of a one on one connection compared to going to some of the big guys that have hundreds of people, going to overtime rips that they're, they're right in between, right? Of the big, big boys and the small guys, there are a couple hundred in there. I have so much fun with it, right? And I'm gonna tell you straight up, break with multiple people. Break with the guys that they're on break one. because They're gonna remember you, right? Go to the top of the, of the chain in the breaking world, right? Break with those guys too, just to experience it. Break with, I, I'm telling you, I, I personally get involved with so many box breaks. I meet people, it's a fun time, I enjoy it. Right, I enjoy. It's not always about the cards you pull. It's about the experience of having fun. Right. So if you're if you're like, listen, I don't know where to begin. Begin here. Join us. JRuthGaming.com is where we sell our spots. Be careful with that too. People do get scammed a lot of times. Hey, listen, you have to pay payment through PayPal, through Venmo only. I'm not trying to knock anyone that does it that way. Personally, if I have to give advice. Do it through a website, right? Do it through some, some, that means someone took the time to build a website. It's easy to do. Now listen, if you're a breaker out there and you're watching this and you're rolling your eyes, like, yo, listen, this is how I run my business. Fine. Just, build a, just get a website. It's easy to do. Just, just YouTube how to build a website. You're here already, right? So just, just for your safety, just, just being honest, try to stick with people that have a website. I meet a lot. And the only time I'm like, eh, questionable on it is when I have to PayPal the person directly, um, to do cash app the guy directly. It's like, eh, I'm not sure. So a website protects both the LLC, the company, and the person, you, right? That's just what it is. But listen, have fun. Have fun with it, give it a shot. It's gonna be fun and straight up, listen, Mark my words, two, I would say maybe three. The next three to five years, no, it's gonna take two, three years. You're gonna, I'm telling you, you're gonna see on ESPN during the commercial break, you know, first time ads, first time uh, individuals, count holders, will get a $10 off coupon in our NBA box break hosted by DraftKings. I'm telling you, it's coming. It's going to be here faster than you already know it. I've had the pleasure of talking to guys that are way above my head in this industry. It's coming. Fanatics Live is already building their team of breakers. DraftKings is getting involved. It's going to take some time, but it's coming to the industry. Box breaks, that is. So if anything, I hope I was able to educate on what box break is. Um, and give you some just details about it. Listen, the comments are open below. Keep it friendly down there. Ask any question you got. I'm, I do my best to get to every question. I do miss some here and there. I do apologize for that. But listen, down below you'll find links to our Instagram, our TikTok account. Follow us, Ruth Gaming. You'll see my lovely face there. If you want to give us a shot, here, actually, I might. No, I don't even have a photo with it. We will be doing tonight, actually. This is going, this is Friday. I'm shooting this earlier in the week. Friday night, so this goes live at seven. So 7.30, so what will we have here? We, how long are we into this video? 19, so in 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 11 technically, we will be having our own box break event here live on YouTube. 
literally just in 10 minutes we'll, you'll see live button hit the notification bell right subscribe for watches far into the future we, it, that one's going to be over with already but we might have an, another live one coming up okay coming out that's all we ask come hang out experience it and if you feel like getting involved jaredgaming.com is where you could do that have fun with it and it'll be, it's gonna be a good time. I, I love it i love it so much as the breaker i love it just hitting awesome cards for you guys it's, it's a lot of fun uh for sure but listen box breaks don't sleep on them it's coming big time to this industry it just is guys thank you for watching appreciate you guys you have a great night enjoy your weekend take care